and H1 I think of welcome to NGC. Basically, we can write the HTML code by directly using HTML tags, but we need to first describe the device width or the wrapper that what we are using. So we have an emit called shift plus exclamatory, which, which derives you to emit abbreviation of this, which basically means that it is the top element or the one which is basically viable at the top and the title is the one which we are going to use. Let's the title be NGC. Then, then in the body, let's give the H1 tag of welcome to NGC. So it's basically means that content based on HTML emit abbreviator. So we'll use it. We'll use it initially for defining the head section, title, and then the body section. The body section mainly focus on the code or the display. It will display the information that we retain that we write in the in between the body tag. So we check this. So yeah, you can see that we have written the H1 tag which is available. So the title of six types of headings in HTML, which are of H1. H1 is one of them. H2. H3. H4. H5. And H6. There are a lot of which types of headings in there. So if you want to know the difference of this, we show you. Let's type the same content in all of these. Let's write welcome to NGC. So you can see the website. Let me refresh this. So yeah, you can see that there are a total of six lines. You see, by decreasing the tag of number H1, H2, H3, H4, the font size of the heading has been decreasing. In ascending order. So yeah, this is all about headings. And let's get into another element of tag called paragraph. And by the way, if we can place the control plus question mark, then we can create and comment in the HTML, which basically is of shape. This is called as a comment in HTML. So let's get the element called paragraph. So yeah, the basic emit abbreviation of the paragraph is P. So if you enter P, you can see an emit abbreviation of P. Paragraph called as paragraph. And this is the paragraph heading or the paragraph HTML element. So we can add an information in this paragraph. Let's say we come to in GSC. We are honored to be a part in this program. You can see it in the website. You can see that the element or the information is in a paragraph. So rather than of in case if we need to prepare demo setting rather than of typing information for some dummy purposes, we can use a keyword called lorem. Lorem is lorem is nothing but a keyword in which if we specify number of words that we need to wish. For example, let's say lorem 40, and if we press enter, it will automatically create a 40 words paragraph. Which is of different language, you don't want to go into the language about it. So, yeah, we'll create about a paragraph of 40 words. We want to create a website with dummy purposes. So, if you can see, a paragraph of 40 words. So, yeah, this is all about paragraphs. And let's get into the other tag called as anchor tag. Anchor tag is nothing but a link that we are going to create in HTML, it is denoted by J. So the syntax of the anchor tag is a h reference. H reference in the sense the reference that which we are going to connect this link. And we need to enter the name. Let's say a link. Let's say the name of the link be link and h reference. In case if we don't want to mention any other HTML page or the web page to link to the link, or else let's change this one. So thank you. So. so which is a name as click on the link. So yeah, we do not want to create any HTML page or do not want to link it with. So we can directly use 
hashtag symbol so that if we even press this link, any action doesn't take place. And let's see this link. So yeah, we can observe a link has been formed and if we click this, the thing is happening because we have referenced the link with none tag. This is all about anchor tag. So first of all, let's say we are going to target it with the same index.html file. And if we again press this link, we can see that it is again loading and it's coming back to the same index.html. If you cannot observe, once if you see this refresh page, it will be refresh after clicking on the link. See. So yeah, this is about anchor tag. If we want this link to be open at another page rather than in the same page, we're going to use a keyword called target. In target, we need to register it as blank. What blank what does blank actually do is if we click the link, one second. Yeah, if we click the link, we can see an under page of index.html has been opened rather than in the same page. As we have been linked in the HTML in the link, right? It has been opened in the on the new page. So this is known as target. Then let's get back into the topic of and let me comment this. Yeah. Then let's get into another keyboard of two. What is two? So div is basically a keyword in which we will store a set of instructions or set of information inside it so that we can style the partial div that we are going to target. But suppose in the body information we can write an heading of welcome and then and what do we say a button. Button has been created of click me and we have about four types of content right so we can see here we have a button and a h1 tag of welcome and a link of click on the link and then a paragraph so if we start if you want to style this web page if you want to style this web page we need uh we need we need to use a tag called body to style this because it is a parent element of all this in which it is presented. Rather than if we want to if we not want to style all these elements, we will use the tag called div, in which we will specify only for suppose if we want to only modify the paragraph element. So we will specify this whole paragraph element in a div and by basically by basically calling this div in the uh, style.cfs tag, we can style this. So this is all about it. Let's use this while uh, styling the web page. This is just an introduction about that too. 